Okay, today I want to pot. I have a high voltage multiplier, five stage. Uh, these are diodes are rated to 20 kilovolts, and I believe the caps are 40. They're kind of overrated for this circuit. But, um, I want to do some experiments with high voltage. It should be interesting. And, uh, if you just leave it out in air, that's, I figure that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 kilovolts. You, you get corona at about 30 kilovolts, so you can't have this unpotted or it will start leaking down. And so I went to uh, a local H Mart, because that's the closest store around here, and I got a little container for, this is like two dollars, and it fits the circuit pretty nicely in there. And uh, what I wanted to do, I think I might have mentioned this in some of my other videos, that um, of course, you want to keep these wires apart, because when they come out of there, they're at high voltage, and uh, they are going to arc. You don't have them apart a good distance. Okay, so you can use different di dielectrics to uh, pot things. I happen to like this one, Vaseline. It has very good uh, dielectric properties and it uh, melts at a very low melting temperature <coughs> and it's easy to unpot if you have a problem with your circuit and you want to unpot it and uh, if you don't want to get goo on your fingers and I have a, a lid I can stick on top of this and uh, so there we go oh I have a uh, we need to melt it and what I've done in the past I haven't tried this before let's move this guy over here uh, I usually stick it on a hot plate with um, some kind of a. So let's get this a little closer. I usually stick this on a hot plate inside of an aluminum thing, like an aluminum container, and melt it. And it becomes clear when it becomes melted. And uh, then try not to slosh it around. But, uh,. Just wanted to try something different this time. I have a heat gun, and my only fear is I'm going to melt the plastic container. So here's a heat gun, and um, let's see if we can melt this Vaseline. It looks like it's melting already. Wow. Okay, so let me, uh, okay, so here we go, we have, oh shit, here we go, we have the molten Vaseline here, see that sloshing around in there, we can pour that into our container like so, oops, you don't want to pour it onto the floor because that's going to make a mess. Okay. And I guess. Ooh. Kind of ran down the side of the container. Let me, uh. Let me melt some more. Ooh, it's getting hot. So we'll try melting some more. And, uh. I guess I can pick that up. Okay, so I guess lower heat might be better because it's not um, smoking now. Yeah. 
seems to be deforming the container. I hope it doesn't rupture before I can pour this stuff out. Maybe I'll get some of this stirred up with a little bit. Let that heat penetrate down inside. Okay. Okay, I found a nice rusty nail. You know, probably not the best thing to use because it, well, yeah, I don't want to contaminate the, the grease. I'll, I'll just melt it slowly. See if we can melt the whole thing. And then uh, pour it in to our circuit. Okay, again, the liquid becomes clear. You can see right through it when it's melted. It's kind of opaque when it's uh, solidified, but it becomes very clear. And you can't see that here, but uh, definitely uh, becomes almost crystal clear when it's, when it's a liquid form. Okay. Yeah, I think this is a little bit better than uh, when I was cooking on the stove with those tin foil pans because they were really flimsy. I was worried about sloshing molten Vaseline on everything around. Okay, yeah, see, it's looking very clear down there now. I don't know if you can see, but it's clear almost all the way down to the bottom now, which means that the whole thing is pretty much melted. Okay, so I think we might be good to go. Okay, I'm going to turn this thing off, and I'm going to get my hot pad out, so I do not want to get burnt by this stupid thing. And I don't even know if I can pick this thing up. Still didn't get all of it. So we'll heat it up some more. Like I said, it's probably better if you do a single pour, but uh, we'll try this way and see how it works. Okay, maybe we'll try to pour that again. Let's see. Well, it's only got about a centimeter melted. Let's try to melt a little bit more. See, if you look at the side here, you can kind of see how deep it is uh, melted. The top is kind of waving around, and then you go down. To the top is right about here, and then it's melted to about there, and then it becomes translucent on down. You can see it waving around up there, it's definitely a fluid. See that? Sloshing around. Okay. We'll melt some more. And, uh, I don't want to see the smoke coming off of it. I don't want to catch it on fire, so I don't want to get it too hot. Okay, we got another batch here to pour in. And here we go. Here's a process that's working pretty good. I just fold the Vaseline container over the diodes, the circuit, and heat it up and just let it flow out. Okay. Okay, so you can see it's clear in there, but as it hardens, I think I got all the diodes covered up. I should have clipped these a little bit more. I think I'm going to have to get some more Vaseline to cover up the tips of those circuits. But it, as it gets uh, 
cooled off, it will become translucent. Okay, I got one more Vaseline container. Let's try to finish this thing off. See if we can cover up all that circuit in there. Circuits. But it, as it gets uh, cooled off. Okay. Let's see, I think, oh, with the exception of that peak, I should have cut that one off, I guess. Um, the circuit is completely covered up. Okay, I really should have done this before, but... Okay. Just chop off a few of these peaks that are sticking up too high, because you don't want the corona to come out. I'm not talking about the V-I-R-U-S, because that is a total scam. Hopefully you guys know that by now. Okay. Okay, so let's just kind of zoom in on this guy and watch the Vaseline as it solidifies. Yeah, I think it's already starting to become a little bit translucent. Okay. Let's kind of zoom in on this guy and watch the Vaseline as it solidifies. Yeah, I think it's already starting to become a little bit translucent. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty much dried now. Can't even see the bottom anymore. Okay. Okay, let's finish this thing off. I have um, a top here. I'd like to maybe drill some holes for these wires, measure them out, and uh, drill them so that we can... Uh, make this a self-contained unit, not having to worry about getting Vaseline or something, places you don't want it to be, okay, so, there we go, 
Yeah, well, I guess it's like a quiet region over there, so let's move this over here. And, uh, Three holes. Okay. And let's uh, I guess run the wires for these holes. And we'll fasten the lid down. Try not to jiggle the Vaseline too much because it's going to open up air pockets down inside to allow the high voltage to get out. We don't want to let the high voltage get out. Like uh, when you're working on equipment, you don't want the magic smoke to get out, right? In this case, you don't want the high voltage to get out either. Okay. Okay. Look at that. A nice self contained unit. Okay. Two input wires and one output. And I guess we'll test this guy out and see how it works. Okay, here we have our high voltage multiplier hooked up to our um, information unlimited high voltage power supply here. And let's uh, just turn this guy on. Let's turn it up a little bit. I can definitely hear it hiss. Okay, I really don't want to get shocked, but here we go. We have a neon light here. You see that? It's lighting up from the ions coming off of our ion high voltage device here. Okay. So it's definitely definitely doing something there. Okay. Anyway, this is Dr. Jane's and thanks for watching.